We're Jenna and Jeremy. After 14 months of RV life, we sold the RV and booked a one-way flight to travel the world. Follow our adventures as we explore more of our incredible planet Earth. Don't forget to press that subscribe button and turn on post notifications for weekly travel videos. You can find us on Instagram and TikTok, Quench Your Adventure. Now on to the good stuff. Hey everyone, if you missed the last video, we help you learn how to get to San Cristobal Island here in the Galapagos. We show you where we stayed and what we paid and share some first impressions about the island. Click up there to check that one out. In this video, we're sharing three free things to do here on San Cristobal Island. And in the next video, we'll be doing a big 360 tour around the entire island, so stay tuned for that. Number one is San Cristobal Biological Reserve or Laguna El Junco. While it's free to visit, you do have to get here, which I think is only possible by car, and I don't think there are local buses. We got in a cab. Apparently it would be like 20 bucks each way. Seems like kind of a lot to take us like 20 minutes, but he is waiting for us at the bottom. And we're gonna try to go see this lagoon that I think is in the crater of an old volcano. It's pretty misty. It is very pretty though. They grow a lot of the produce up in this part. We're definitely significantly higher than the other chunks of the island. So we'll see if it's a worthwhile adventure. All right, we made it to El Junco, El Junco. Uh, I will say it's pretty misty. Didn't really expect that. We just kind of assumed that it would be clear like it was at the bottom. You can't see anything. But we drove up a little ways. So maybe a little underwhelming. The guy yesterday showed us a gorgeous photo video when he went at sunset with his family. So we were so excited for that. We're barely able to see anything for $40. It is pretty and there's no one here. Um, and there's yeah. birds chirping, it's nice. That's the first time in a very long time that we've been alone. True, it's very serene. There's a lot to be thankful for. <laughs> but yeah, it's not like the beautiful reflecty sunset. Yeah, I'm a little grouch over here. In hindsight, maybe we should have considered renting a car for a day or doing a slightly longer taxi tour to the other spots along this road, which would increase the cost to maybe $60 from $40, but maybe make it all a little more worth it. There's a free breeding center for the tortoises you can visit and a scenic remote beach at the end of the road. Number two is Playa de los Lobos. You'll likely visit this spot without even realizing it because it's the beach area right along the main stretch of town, which by the way is called Puerto Bacarizo Moreno. We showed quite a few shots from this spot in our last video, but we want to highlight it here again because it's where we saw the most sea lions, the biggest sea lions, the loudest sea lions, and the smallest sea lions in our entire 10 day trip on three different islands here in the Galapagos. Lastly, we head to number three, Playa Punta Querola. From Playa de los Lobos to Playa Punta Querola is roughly a 25 minute walk one way. And we did this a couple hours before sunset and it was great. This is where we took a TikTok video that went totally viral, getting over 9.1 million views and over 5,000 comments. Oh my gosh, this girl cannot get to her backpack because something came crawling over. Oh my gosh, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? That's not your stuff. You need to find your mama. Oh my gosh. What are you doing? We read online that seals, sea lions like to steal GoPros. Oh baby. What are you doing? People were upset we did not try and help it because it's alone and not near its mom. The thing is, you're not allowed to touch sea lions and we did not see the mom around anyway. We did end up submitting a report on a conservation website here, and we did watch it go back into the water. Apparently there are not many predatorial sharks around this area, so I'd say the odds are decent that it survived. Also, the reality here is that not everything survives. These islands are known for their stories of evolution, which means survival of the fittest. What's up guys? We are on Kerola Beach, I believe. I just heard a sea lion snort or sneeze. Um, watching the sunset here, it's a good spot for it. Another good spot up there you can walk up to an overlook that would give you a little elevation, I think, down into another cove as well. The sun's actually dropping pretty quick behind us. We've got this uh, lighthouse to the right of us that's breaking down. And, um, and then the sun setting over there, some baby sea lions, a bunch of marine iguanas, just a really exciting place to be.
three free things to do in San Cristobal. Thank you all for watching. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment, and stay tuned for our 360 tour around the entire easternmost island here in the Galapagos. See ya. Oh my gosh, good thing there's a bar right here. They 